So in 2015, after graduating from LSU, I moved to Houston. Baton Rouge had been the heart of my community. College was a unique, uh, unique season where friends were often just a short walk or a five minute drive away. It was during these years that I had a transformative encounter with Jesus that changed my life forever. I deeply connected with a church and college ministries forming bonds that remain to this day. Weekly community groups and the packed social calendar were the norm as were being surrounded by peers in the same life stage. All of that changed, however, when I moved to a large city. Post-graduation life in Houston introduced me to a profound sense of loneliness. According to the CDC, loneliness is defined as feeling disconnected, alone, or distant from others. I felt this intensely. Weekends without plans, a quiet phone, and an absence of community slash trying to plug into communities and not really feeling like I belonged or, or fit. Over time, however, I have learned and experienced that loneliness is a feeling that I have that comes and goes like any other. In moments of feeling lonely, I have witnessed God's grace and goodness in the tangible, intangible ways. Through his, presence and the present, through his presence and the presence of others, he has reminded me that I am never truly alone, disconnected, or distanced from others like my feelings and my mind tries to ten, tends to try to lead me to. I've discovered that lonely, loneliness and being alone are distinct experiences. Jesus himself often sought solitudes and times to be alone. Much of my personal and spiritual growth has occurred in these quiet moments of being alone. Loneliness, however, usually brings a sense of hopelessness and lies with it that can cause us to self-isolate and move us into our own thoughts or despair. But sometimes all we really need is to be reminded that none of us are alone or without hope when that feeling of loneliness creeps in. Our partners at the Hope Booth are doing just that through reminding people they are not alone, there is always hope, and there are always opportunities for connection. Please watch this short video to learn some more. Can you think of a moment in life where you felt invisible? It was October 29th, 2011, when it seemed like no one saw me. I felt hope leave my body as suicide entered my story. What I simply needed was to be seen because all of humanity has a need to be seen. So we created Hope Booth, where no one goes unseen. A three minute interactive immersive experience that delivers artistic messages of hope strategically placed throughout our cities.